Hey and welcome back to another gear review. I'm Marty and today I want to show you a monitor controller which I have here. It's the Mackie Bigner Passive and um, I'm quite interested about that um, because it's a passive unit which means it should be really really transparent. Um, there is no dedicated um, power supply with that. It just feeds the signal what's coming into it and it divides it to the two outputs that you can connect your monitor speakers to. So um, it should be very, very clean. And that's what you actually want um, from a monitor controller. All right, so let's unbox it and see what we got here. First of all, of course, the manual. Then we got a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable, which I suppose is for MP3 players, smartphones, and things like that. So you can connect it to the um, stereo input. And then we got the unit itself. Well, this is actually heavier than I thought. I think it's around one kilo, which should be two pounds or something like that. And here we have it. So let's get rid of that. All right. So Mackie Bigno Passive. Here it is. Um, it's really heavy. Um, the housing is made of metal all the way, sides, front, and also on the bottom here um, has rubber feet. And well, let's go quickly through the features and then I'm gonna um, route a signal through it and I'm gonna show you what it actually is doing. So first of all, we got on the back here um, the monitor outputs and the source inputs. We have two of them, A and B, and here is also the 3.5 millimeter line input and the monitor outputs A and B, always left and right. So all connections are balanced and unbalanced, so you were quite safe there. And now to the buttons itself on the unit. They feel quite nice when you press them. Um, they are really sturdy, um, especially the volume knob feels really nice when you turn it and it is not actually moving or something like that. And that's a problem with, with, with cheaper units, also with small um, knobs, that they are quite loose, but this is not the case here. So that's a really good plus. Um, here you have the source select and the monitor select A and B. You got also a mono button, which can be quite handy. You got a mute button and a dim button. And the buttons itself, when you press them, they are not illuminated. Um, of course, there is no power supply, so there can't be any LEDs. And so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to hook it up directly to the converter, so not to the monitor output, so you can actually hear when I press the button what it is doing. And yeah, so that's basically it. That's the Mackie Big Knob Passive. And let's try it out. All right, so here we have the unit. Um, it's now connected to the converter, so you can actually hear um, the functions. And we got one single input, so let's select here source A. Let's bring in the music. We got here a mono button. Can be very handy when mixing. Then we got a mute button. And we got a very practical dim button which is quite nice when you want to talk, for example, to the artist, you don't want to cut the music completely off, you can use that button and bring it back in. Or for example, when doing voiceover, you can dim um, the source, you can talk a little bit over it, and then bring back the music. Here is the monitor selector. Just have one um, output actually here, so just on the A. And to the button itself, to the volume button, um, it's quite smooth. And it feels actually really, really nice when you turn it. And all the way up. And all the way back. Alright, so that's the Mackie Big Knob Passive. Um, so the first impression is actually very, very good. And I can't wait to hook it up to my system and try it out when mixing. Um, but the first impression is really, really good. All right, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And um, as always, happy recordings and see you in the next video.